Hello folks, uh, welcome to our next update on our trusty Lexus GS450H hybrid gearbox and our inverter adventures uh, that we're currently engaged with. So when you last saw us, um, I've made a pretty rookie mistake on not believing uh, what I was seeing from the resolver to digital uh, converter and um, we had basically been just looking at some of the problems that I was in encountering with getting the inverter to even turn the uh, motor in a smooth fashion. So I worked with Johannes there last week uh, and we got a bit of a breakthrough. Uh, we still got a bit of a hill to, to, to climb but Unlike previously, uh, when I would press the throttle um, and the motor would just jump around uh, without um, correctly uh, running and without interpreting the encoder signals from the resolver to digital converter board. So what we have now, if it decides to work, because we're on camera, it probably won't. Um, is pretty good start. So I'm going to just give myself some throttle and we're, sp and we're spinning here. And I've got the frequency set quite low uh, so we're not uh, spinning extremely fast here but we do have um, some pretty serious uh, torque control on this guy as in when I put a load on him I can slow him uh, but then he pushes back. I probably break my finger. Um, so, yeah, pretty good start. Um, I'm still not 100% convinced on the whole pole pairs thing here. We're currently running with two pole pairs, uh, which seems to run very well. Um, three and four pole pairs, which I actually thought this was a, a six pole motor. Um, but we just don't seem to be uh, getting where we need to be when we put those parameters in. But um, we can stop and hopefully restart. Sometimes the restart doesn't quite work for me and I need to give the motor a flick just to resynchronize it. Ah, there we go. It's just, just as I said it. There we go. So we've still got a long way to go, but I've uh, got a very nice pulse train from my Resolver Digital Converter. Uh, we've switched to using screened cabling on the inverter here, which has removed my problem uh, with the USB. Basically, without the screen cabling on here, the, um, the USB was just dropping out whenever I pressed the uh, throttle. So. Yeah, we have a bit of a noise problem to deal with. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go on for too long. Um, we got nice rotation here. Got a nice signal on the scope. And on my STM32 board here, um, every time the motor completes one revolution, and, and LED flashes. Uh, to tell us that the north marker signal has been uh, picked up on. So I'll try another start there now, I'll just ease off. There we go. Try again. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, we're getting no um, error LEDs from the resolver to digital, um, so it seems to be quite happy with the signals now that it's getting from the resolver. I did find out that they use a Tamagawa resolver in there, which um, I believe the analog devices part is designed to work with, so that's a bit of good news. Um, so that's about it folks, uh, we've got uh, a lot of work to do, I've found 
my uh, sink, uh, sink offset uh, setting on the inverter here that it seems to like the most. Basically we vary from 0 to 360 degrees, from 0 to 65,535 um, digits. Uh, and it seems to like 24,000 uh, the most. That seems to be giving me quite a bit of torque here. So anyway, um, thanks for wa for watching. Stay with us. We got more stuff on on here, and we got Panzer work, and uh, we'll be back soon. So thanks a lot, folks. Catch you on the flip side.